you can draw this in Procreate. During this step-by-step -step easy Procreate tutorial, I will be guiding you through the steps of creating this storybook style character. We'll start out by creating some very simple shapes, then we'll draw the face of our character, add outlines, detail the hair, and finally add all those lovely plants to our background. Once you have reached the end of this tutorial, you will feel proud of your result and you will just want to share it. If you are sharing it on Instagram, then don't forget to tag me in the image, not just in the description, because that way I will be able to find your work and maybe we will see it in the next video. Just like these amazing results from my friends at Patreon. That's the place you need to go if you want to watch even more Procreate tutorials because I have more than a hundred there, ranging from beginner levels to more advanced levels and with a wide variety of subjects. What you need for this tutorial is a canvas that is 2500 pixels by 2500 pixels. I have linked a color palette in the description. And for this tutorial, we will be using free Procreate brushes only, brushes that are already in the app and some brushes that you can find in my free Procreate treasure chest. If you don't already have my free brush pack, then be sure to go to freefromflow.com to get it. And then if you are ready, grab your pen and let's get started. The first thing we'll do is draw a big circle. And we'll do that with the monoline brush, which you can find under calligraphy. And for the color, we'll be using this first color in the first row. Now the opacity of the brush needs to be at 100% and the size is set to 30% in this case. And now let's just draw a circle like this, then hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and then tap one finger on the screen to make it turn into a perfectly round circle. And then it should look something like this. Then you can drag in the color by dragging the circle into the bigger circle. And then we'll make sure that it's centered by going to the little arrow here, the move and transform tool. You can set it to uniform and have snapping turned on here. And now let's move it a little bit until you see that vertical orange line. It doesn't have to be centered like this. You can pull it up just a little bit until it looks like this. Then tap the arrow again. And now we are going to add a nice painterly edge around our circle. And to do that, we'll go to the painting brushes and use the old brush. For this brush, the opacity is also set to 100% and the size is set to 10%. And now we'll go along the edge and then we'll add this painterly edge around our circle and you can rotate your canvas move it around and go in different directions don't add too much paint otherwise you might end up having an oval instead of a circle so try to stay close to the edge and go along the entire circle to create this nice edge you don't have to do the underside actually go to about here. So when you have something that looks like this, then you're good to go. Next, we'll add even more texture by using one of the, where are they? The charcoals brushes. We will be using the 2B compressed brush. And for the color, we'll be using the second color in the first row. And I want this chalky texture to only show up inside of our circle. So we'll go to the layer menu, we'll tap our layer one, and then we'll tap alpha lock. Now we can only paint inside of our shape. And the opacity of this brush is at 100% and the size is set to 75%. And now let's go over this lower area, make these rounded motions and press lightly at the top to make this faded look. So you get something that looks like this. Then we'll create a new layer on top. So we'll go to the layer menu and tap the plus. And then for our brush, we will go to the treasure chest brush pack. I have it over here and we will use, where is it? We will use the round chalk brush. And now for the color, we will use this third color in the first row. And now we are going to create the underground for our character. 
the opacity of this brush is also set to 100% and the size is at 15%. And we are going to make a wavy shape like this. We'll go under our circle a little bit and make a little bit of a wavy shape like this right on the underside of our circle. So you can color it in by hand to create a nice little texture. Till the entire shape is colored in. And you can add a little bit to it, adjust it. It's nice if it has some textured edges. So we can press lightly there. We can also add a few of these extra little dabs. Also over here. And let's add one here. So now we have our underground. Let's get started with our character. We'll start with the head and we'll do that on a new layer. So we'll go to the layer menu and tap the plus. And then for the color, we will use this first color in the second row. And for our brush, we will go back to that monoline brush under calligraphy. So over here, the monoline brush, and then we'll draw another circle right here in the center. Draw a circle, hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape. And we can put our finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. So you should end up with something like this and then drag in the color to fill the circle. Next, we are going to liquefy the shape and push and pull some parts. We'll do that by going to the magic wand here at the top and then down here to liquefy. I have liquefy set to push and distortion and momentum are set to none. Pressure is set to max and for the size, you can vary perhaps 35% and we are going to Pull on this or push on this right side to change the shape. We'll also push on the underside. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger, actually. 45%. Push a little bit to make that more flat. And I can push on the top side a little bit so we get this type of almost like a bean shape. Very weird bean shape. So you want a little indent over here. And this is the cheek. So for now, something like this should be fine. Then you can tap the magic wand again to get out of here. Next, let's add an ear. Let's zoom in a little bit. And add an ear right here. Shape like this on the side of her head. And then you can drag in the color to fill that area. Next, we'll create the hair. We'll do that on a new layer underneath the head. So first tap this layer and then tap the plus. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here. That's the eight color in the second row. And for our brush, we will use the script brush, which is also part of the calligraphy brushes. And the opacity of this brush is set to 100% and the size is set to 10%. Let's zoom out a little bit again. And then let's start a little bit to the left here and make a shape like this over the head. And then on this side, we'll go inward a little bit, make a wavy shape like this. And then we will connect both sides like this and now let's drag in the color now you could add a little bit to the top or you could also use liquify here if you feel like your shape is a little bit off then you can just adjust it by using liquify now we will go back to the layer with the head and we'll tap this layer and add a layer mask so we can remove or mask parts of this face to make the hair show up. So with our script brush set to black, we are going to add some hair here, for instance. 
right in front of that ear. And we'll make a line like this. Loop around and close it and then drag in the color. And then once you have this, you can adjust it a little bit. And we are going to make some parts of the face visible again by switching to white. So we'll tap here and then double tap in this white area to grab white. And then we'll make a line like this, for instance. And over here. And a little bit over here. And we can zoom in a little bit, adjust the hair. And if you feel like it doesn't look right, then you can always switch back to black and then bring back some parts of the hair again. So you can just go here, double tap in this area to grab black, and then you can go over areas to get some hair back. A little bit over here. Now let's go back to this layer with the hair and add a mask there too. So we'll tap the layer, add a mask, and then with black, we'll remove parts here as well. Create some shapes like this. And on this side too. You can also go along the outer edges, adjust some parts, make some parts a bit more rounded until you have something that looks like this. And once you're happy with this hair, you can actually merge that layer mask with the hair layer. In this case, for the head, I want to keep it there in case I want to make any adjustments later on. An easy way to make adjustments to the hair and the face is by selecting all of these layers, the hair and the face and the layer mask, and then going to the magic wand and using liquify again. Now while it's set to push, let's make the brush a little bit bigger, 50%. You can push and pull parts of the hair and of the face and reshape your character. So this gives you a lot of control to shape your, your girl here. And we can also do this later on if it's needed. You can always just use Liquify to make these adjustments. Now let's go back to the layer menu and we'll make a new layer underneath the hair. So first tap layer two, then tap the plus. And for the brush, we're still using the script brush. And now we'll make a little bun. We'll start here, make a shape like this. And make these curved lines like this until we are back. Then loop around to close the shape and drag in the color. Next, we'll get started with her body and her neck. So first, let's tap the hair layer because the neck will be in front of the hair, but it will be underneath the head. So we'll tap this layer and tap the plus. And then for the color, we will grab this second color in the second row. Let's zoom in a little bit and create a little neck. So we'll just make a shape like this, loop around to make sure that it's closed and color it in. Then we'll make another layer on top. So we'll tap the plus here. And then for our color, we will grab this one over here, the second color in the third row. And we are going to use it to create the shape of a sweater. First, we'll make a curved line here around her neck. Then we'll curve that downward. So that's the color. And then we'll make a shape downward like this. You can color that in. Now let's zoom in a little bit. Let's make this a little bit wider. And then for the arm, make a shape like this with a little extra bump here. 
and on this side as well. Color it in, little extra bump. Then let's zoom in a little bit because I want that color to go behind the neck here. So let's make a shape like this. Color this in. And then what we'll do is we'll go to the neck layer. We'll tap that and you select. Just make sure that color fill is not turned on here. This should be white, not blue. And then we'll go to the sweater layer again. And we'll use the eraser. Just make sure that the eraser is set to, to something like the monoline brush. Or the script brush will be fine too, as long as it has crisp edges and as long as it's fully opaque. And now we can go along this edge to make sure that the neck shows up. And now we can tap the selection tool again to turn off the selection. Then let's move on and let's create some shorts. Now while I'm moving down, I do feel like the neck might be a little bit long. An easy way to fix that is by just selecting the sweater and the neck like this. So slide to the right so they are both blue. Then go to the move and transform tool and just move it upward a little bit, just like this. Then let's make a new layer for her shorts. Let's do that on, it, it needs to be underneath the sweater. Let's place it between the neck and the sweater. So we'll tab layer seven, then tab the plus. And then for the color, we'll grab this one, third color in the third row. Let's zoom in a little bit. And then over here, make two of these shapes sticking out underneath the sweater. And we'll go back to the layer menu and we'll go to the neck layer. And on this layer, we'll also add the hands and the legs. For the color, we will grab this one over here. That's the fourth color in the second row. And let's make legs over here. Just shapes like this. They are thinner than the shorts. So just shapes like this. Color that in. Then for the hands, let's first make a shape like this. And a little thumb. And over here as well, shape like this. And then a little thumb. As you can see, we're keeping it really simple and very stylized. Then for the boots, let's put those on a layer on top of the legs. So let's tap the plus. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here. That's the fifth color in the third row. And then let's first create a line like this. Then go downward, make a little bump, go to the right and back up. So it's a shape like this, color it in. And then let's do the same thing on the other side. Go down a little bit to the right, then to the left, a little bump and back up. Then color it in. And you can make the brush a little bit smaller if you like. You can go for 4%, for instance, if you need to tidy it up a little bit. We also need to create a curve here behind the leg. And here as well. And we are going to use the same trick that we used for the color. So let's first go to this layer on which we have the legs. We'll tap it, use select. Then we'll go back to the layer with the boots, grab the eraser, and then we'll go along this area to create that curve for the boot. And then just tap the S shape ribbon again to get out of there. And we do feel like the boot on the left is a little bit bigger than the one on the right. So let me fix that. Next, let's continue working on the face. Let's go to the face layer over here and then tap the plus. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here. Third color in the second row. 
And for the brush, let's grab the monoline brush. We are going to create the eyes. So let's draw a circle over here. Hold your pen in place to make it snap to the quick shape and tap one finger on the screen to make it snap to a perfectly round circle. Then drag in a color and then on a new layer. So let's go to the layer menu, tap the plus on a new layer. Let's add another circle over here. Hold your pen in place, tap one finger on the screen like this and then drag in the color to fill it. And next we'll go back to that previous layer and we are going to use the liquify tool again. So we'll go to the magic wand and to liquify and we are going to push and pull this eye a little bit. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 30%. And we're going to push it a little bit. So with that liquify tool, we have full control here. I don't want it to be too high. I want to make it a little bit smaller. Something like this. Looks a bit silly when you compare it to the other eye. Let's go to that other eye on layer 12 here. Then go to the magic wand again and to liquify. And let's push and pull here as well. Let's make it a little bit smaller, move it a bit away from the right side of the face. And we'll squish it a little bit. And I have it a little bit higher than the eye on the left. Now let's push these layers together. Let's pinch them. You could just go to the magic wand again and to liquefy and liquefy them at the same time. But when you use a bigger brush, you might be pushing or pulling on the other circle while you do that. So that's why it can be handy to have them on separate layers. Now we are going to make the irises. We'll do that on a new layer. So let's tap the plus. And for the color, we will grab this one over here. That's the eight color in the third row. Now let's make an oval, a circle over here on an oval, something like this, and drag in the color. Then on a new layer, Go to the layer menu, tap the plus on a new layer. We'll make another one on this side. Hold your pen in place like this and then drag in the color. Then let's just merge these two together, but make sure that they are not merged with the white. And then we'll go back to the magic wand and to liquify. So we have full control over these irises. Make sure that there's still some white on the right side. And a little bit of white on the left side. So it should look something like this. Then we'll go to the layer menu. We'll tap this layer and turn on alpha lock. Then we'll go to the color palette and grab this ninth color in a third row. And then we'll set our brush to the script brush again. And then let's color the lower left area. I don't think you'll be able to see it on screen because it's a slight difference, but you should be able to see it on your iPad. It is a little bit lighter than the iris color. We'll color this in. It'll give a slight effect. And then we'll switch to the white, the third color and the second row again, and then we'll add some highlights. So let's add a little light here and two small lights over here. We'll do the same for this eye. So three little lights and then let's add some lashes. We'll do that on a new layer on top of these. So let's tap the plus and for the color, we'll grab this one again, the eight color in the third row. And this part is a little bit tricky. It might take some tries. We are going to follow this line and then go to the right and then make two little lashes over here. So it'll start on the iris and then move to the right. 
I think we can go a little bit thicker. And even, even bigger, I think. Some nice exaggerated lashes. And then we'll do the same on the other side. So we'll start here, press lightly, and then press harder as you move to the left. And then make these big lashes here. Color them in. So you get something like this. Perhaps maybe we can make it a little bit thicker here as well. Then for a little shadow on the eye, let's go back to layer 11. Let's turn on alpha lock. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here, the fourth color in the second row. And then we'll make a shape like this on the eyeball and on this side as well. That's a little shadow. Then we'll go to the magic wand and hit Gaussian blur. Then slide to the right on your screen with your pen or your finger and add a slight little blur let's say 3% and then tap the magic wand again. Then let's add the eyebrows. First, before we do that, I think we can actually merge these eye layers, these three on top. Let's pinch them together and then tap the plus for a layer for the eyebrows. For the eyebrows, let's grab this color, the ninth color in the second row. And we'll place them above the eyes, of course, and push hard here and lighter as you move to the right. But you can rotate your screen or actually the canvas. So it's thicker at the beginning and thinner as you move outward. And we'll do the same over here. So thick to thin, thick to thin. Maybe they can be even a little bit thicker. Sometimes you don't see it until you zoom out. So make sure you zoom out every once in a while to get a nice view of your illustration. This looks fine. Now let's add a nose and a mouth. Let's do that on, well, we can do that on this layer actually. For the brush, we are going to use a brush from the treasure chest brush pack again. And this time we'll use the fine liner brush. And for the color of the brush, we will use this one over here. That's the sixth color in the second row. Now the brush is set to 100% opacity and let's set the size to 6%. Then over here, let's add a little nose like this. And then for a smile, let's make something like this. Then over here, we'll add some detail to the ear. We'll make a shape like this. I do feel like the ear is a little bit big. So let's go to the face layer. We can actually go to that layer mask and then let's go back to the illustration and all the calligraphy brushes and use the script brush. And then with black, we can simply cut off a part. and make the ear a little bit smaller. And refine this a little bit. Now at this point, once you have those eyes and a mouth and a nose, it's easier to find out what you want to tweak on the face. I feel like, for instance, a cheek is a little bit too big. So let's just have this selected and then go to the magic wand and use liquify again. I have it set to 30% in size. And let's push this down a little bit. And we can adjust the face a little bit. Perhaps make the brush a little bit bigger, 45%. And give her a little bit of a facelift. I 
do feel like the line got a little bit wonky because of our liquefying. So to adjust that, what you could do is just go back to the layer over here then grab the color. That's this one. First color in the second row and then rotate your screen and then just make a nice and tidy line to get rid of the little wobble. Now I also want to add some freckles. Well, let's go back to this layer on which we have the eyebrows and the mouth and the nose and such. And let's go back to the treasure chest brush pack and use the fine liner brush. And for the color, we'll grab this one again, sixth color in the second row. Let's zoom in and let's add a few freckles, just like these dots and over here as well. And now the face needs some blush. Well, let's go to layer three. And now you can either set this layer to alpha lock and then paint directly on it. Or you can tap the plus to make a new layer and set this layer to clipping mask so that whatever we paint, it'll only show up on the face. Now for the brush, let's go to the airbrushing brushes and let's use the soft brush. And for the color, we'll grab this one over here, the fifth color in the second row. Now the opacity of the brush is at 60% and let's set the size to 2% for now. And let's go along the edge of the hair here to create this nice warm shadow. Make multiple strokes to make it nice and opaque. But having your brush set to a lower opacity does give you a little bit of control, slowly building up the color. Then over here, let's add some red inside of the ear and then let's also add some red to the nose and let's make the brush a little bit bigger four percent or maybe well it's five now a little bit of red to the top here of the ear and let's make some rosy cheeks gently making these rounded motions over these areas and then once you're happy with this you can actually merge it with the face. Let's merge these three layers together and then let's tap the plus for another layer and we'll set this layer to clipping mask as well. And on this layer, we'll paint with this blue over here. That's the seventh color in the second row. And for the brush, we will use the script brush again under calligraphy. And we are going to create an edge right along her cheek. So we'll start here and make a line like this just over her face. And then what we'll do is we'll blur this. We'll go to the magic wand, then to Gaussian blur, and we'll slide to the right to give it a slight blur. And if you feel like the edge is a little bit too big, then you can simply go to the move and transform tool, the little arrow, and then nudge it a little bit to make this edge more subtle. Then tap the brush again and add a slight highlight here on the nose. For the next step, we are going to add some outlines on the clothing. Let's do that on a new layer. And the layer should be on top of the sweater and the short. So first tap layer eight and then tap the plus for a new layer. By the way, if you're happy with the face and the eyes, then you can just pinch these top layers together and have one layer for the face. So let's go back to this layer. For the brush, we will use that fine liner brush again from the treasure chest brush pack. And for the color, we will grab this one again, sixth color in the second row. And let's dive in. First, let's go along this side and upward here to create that line for the arm. Then over here, and create a shape like this. Then back up. Then we'll do the same on the other side. I'm going to turn my drawing upside down because I feel it's easier to make the curve like this. So we'll go along this side and create the other side of the body and the underside. 
Then for the other sweater, let's move down, create a shape like this and this. Then for the color, let's make a line like this in front of our neck and then like this for the front. Now here we have a little bump so we can just tweak that a little bit. And you can also add a little line to the neck. Then for the shorts, we are going to use a different color. Let's go to the color palette and use this one over here. That's the sixth color in the third row. And let's go along the edge here and not go over the other lines. And then let's add these little stitches here. Then for the boots, we are going to use this color. That's the seventh color in the third row. And first let's make a shape like this. Then we'll go downward, go along the outer edge. And then on this side as well. Then I want to add an extra touch to the boots. Let's go to the boots layer and let's set this layer to alpha lock. So we'll tap it, tap alpha lock. And then for the color, we'll grab this one over here. That's the fourth color and the third row. And let's grab that script brush again. Let's go to the top and go to recent brushes. There we can find all the brushes that we have recently used, which makes it a lot easier. So let's grab the script brush. And let's add this color to the top of the boot like this. And on this side as well. Then let's switch back to the fine liner brush. And let's also add, well, like these laces there. I also want to add some color variation to the sweater. I want to add stripes there. So let's go to the sweater layer. And here again, you can either use alpha lock or a new layer on top by tapping the plus and set that to clipping mask. Then for the color, we'll grab this one over here. First color in the third row. And for the brush, we will go back to the script brush. Then let me rotate this girl. And let's first color the top area here. You can just drop in the color once you have a closed shape. And then let's make a line like this, a curve. And when the shape is closed on all sides, you can drag in the color. And let's add these curved areas for the sleeves and on this side as well. And you can drag in the color to fill the areas. Do make sure they are closed before you drag it in. Then on the body, let's continue there. Big curved lines, close to shapes, and then drag in the color. I want to add 
a little highlight to the legs just like we did on the face so let's go to that layer tap the plus and then set this layer to clipping mask then we'll grab that blue again that seventh color in the second row and for the brush we'll still be using the script brush and then let's add a little highlight here on the right side and on this one and a little one on the hand here and now let's go to the magic wand again use gaussian blur and slide to the right and set it to three percent and then tap the magic wand again next let's move on to the hair let's go to the layer menu and then to the hair layer over here then let's make a new layer on top by tapping the plus and setting that to clipping mask then for the color let's grab this one over here that's the ninth color in the second row and for the brush let's grab the soft brush now the opacity of this brush is still at 60 percent and the size is at five and let's add a little bit of this darker color right here behind the curl you might not be able to see it very well on camera but you should be seeing it on your ipad a little bit of that dark color here and on the undersides over here on the front and then we'll switch to this lighter color that's the tenth color in the second row and we'll add that to the top parts like over here that's the place where the hair is facing upward a little bit just like this top area top of the head a little bit lighter so we'll use this color there then let's also grab this color over here tenth color in the third row and now for our brush let's go back to the treasure chest brush pack and use the basic flow brush the opacity of this brush is at 100 percent and the size is at 30 percent but still this brush will be a little bit transparent and we can slowly add some blue tones some over here and over here follow the curve of the hair adding some blue touches and some over here like i said following the curve of the hair and over here now let's make a layer on top of this let's tap the plus and on this layer we'll be using the fine liner brush over here in the treasure chest brush pack and for the color we'll use this one over here ninth color in the second row and now we are going to add some lines for the hair following that curve adding some detail to the hair over here as well following that line over here here will curve like this And we have a curve over here so just a few of these lines is enough to get that suggestion of hair then let's make another layer on top of this one so first tap this layer and tap the plus just to be sure let's set it to clipping mask then for the color we'll grab this this light blue seventh color in the second row and for the brush we will go back to the basic flow brush and i will add some small little highlights let's make the brush a little bit smaller let's go for nine percent and add some of these brighter highlights just by creating these dots following this line over here as well just a few And then over here as well where the hair is facing upward 
And then to add an extra hairy effect here, we'll go to the smudge tool, the little finger here. Then we'll go to the treasure chest brush pack and use the smudgy hairbrush. The opacity of this brush is at 75%. And let's set the size to 5%. And let's just go over these parts just a little bit to add some hair texture. It's very subtle, but it looks nice. And over here as well. Then for some final highlights, again, we'll make a new layer. We'll tap the plus, set this to clipping mask, and then we'll go back to that script brush. We can go up here to recent, grab the script brush, and with this blue, we'll add some lines along the outside, for instance. But also over here along this curve. And over here on the side of the head. And one over here, and perhaps here. And then let's blur this again. Let's go to the magic wand, then to Gaussian blur, and slide to the right. Let's set it to 3%. And then let's do the same for the bun. Let's first tap the magic wand to get out of here. And then let's follow these same steps for the bun. If you're happy with the hair so far, then you can merge these layers and the lines here. Just make sure that the bun is still on a separate layer. Now let's tap the plus for a new layer on top, set it to clipping mask. And then for the brush, we will go to the soft brush again. First, we'll grab the ninth color in the second row and then add a little bit of that darker color right here. Just make circular motions. Then we'll switch to the lighter color, 10th color in the second row. And we'll add some lighter touches on the outsides here. Then let's grab that bluish color, 10th color in the third row. And let's also grab the basic flow brush. Let's make it a bit bigger again, 20%. And let's add some of this lighter blue like this. Now let's make a new layer on top. Let's tap the plus. And for the color, grab the ninth color in the second row. And for the brush, we will grab the fine liner brush again. And then let's add some lines. Now to be sure, let's just set this to, to clipping mask. Tap the layer, set it to clipping mask so that our lines won't be going outside of the shape and it will make it easier to create these curved lines outward to the inside. So something like this, and then let's also add those lighter blue lines. First tap this layer, then tap the plus. It'll be automatically clipped because it's underneath another clip layer. Then we'll switch to that blue, that light blue seventh color in the second row. And for the brush, we'll switch to the script brush again. Now let's add some lighter edges. Around the bun. Over here as well. Something like this. And then go to the magic wand, tap Gaussian blur, and slide to the right to about 3% and then tap the magic wand again. Now, before we continue to adding our plants to the background, let's add some shadow to the body. Let's go to the sweater layer, for instance. We can actually merge these two layers now that we're happy with them, so let's pinch them together. Then let's tap the plus for a new layer and set this layer to clipping mask. To add a shadow on this layer, we are going to set this layer blending mode to multiply. You need to tap this N and then scroll up to multiply. Now we can use a local color 
like this one by tapping and holding our finger on the screen. And when we paint on here, it'll make everything darker, even though we're using this color. And for the brush, we'll still be using the script brush. And now let's go over here and make a line like this, following the sweater, loop around, and then drag in the color. And let's also add a little shadow over here on the inside of the color and over here near the arm. Now it is a little dark, but we can easily adjust that by going to that layer and tapping the M and then using the opacity slider and setting it to 50%. Now we are going to use the same technique for the boots and for the shorts. Now we can actually put these on the same layer. We can pinch these together to save some layer space. Then we'll tap the plus, set this layer to clipping mask so our paint will only show up on the shorts and the boots. And then we'll tap the M and scroll up to multiply. Then for the boots, we'll grab this color. We'll just tap and hold. And we'll add a shadow over here. And on this side, and a little bit underneath the sweater. And then for the boots, we'll grab that red, go over here, and add a shadow to the left side. Because we added that shadow on the left side on the sweater as well, we can go and add a shadow on the right side this time. The shadows need to be consistent and on the same sides. Then let's lower the opacity again, so tap that M right next to the layer name and slide to 50%. Now we can actually do the same for the neck and arms. Let's first merge these together. Let's pinch them, then tap the plus for a new layer, set this to clipping mask, tap the M and scroll up to multiply. Let's grab this local color. And then let's add a little shadow like this and underneath the shorts. Then for the hands, just a little shadow. We can put this entirely in shadow. Let's drag in the color. And the side of the neck. And a little bit on the underside. And then we'll lower the opacity again by tapping the M and sliding to 50%. And then when you're happy with these layers, you can actually pinch them together, of course. You won't be able to undo that later, so do be sure that you're happy with what you got. For instance, I'm going to merge these hair layers. But merging layers as you go will save you a lot of layer space. So now that we have our character, it's time to start working on our background. For the plans, let's start in the back. Let's first tap this layer, the one with, well, it's like the mud. Then let's tap the plus for a new layer. And for the color, we will grab this one over here. That's the sixth color in the first row. And then let's grab the, where is it? We don't have it anymore. Let's go to the treasure chest brush pack and use the round chalk brush again. And then let's create some big grass-like shapes behind our character. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 4%. And let's color this in and create some shapes like this. And over here. Just some big grassy shapes. All the way behind our character. Just fill that area up. And you can tap and hold the eraser to make it switch to the round chalk brush. In case you want to make some parts a little bit more pointy. You just go along 
those areas, make the brush even smaller, 3%, and create this pointy grass. Then let's also switch to this color for some greener grass. That's the ninth color in the first row. Let's grab the brush and let's add some other grass. And over here. And let's make it pointy by using the eraser. Then with this color, I would also like to use the fine liner brush from the treasure chest brush pack. And let's create a long stem like this. All the way up here and let's add these small leaves to it. Small rounded leaves. Over here as well. Just something like this. Now let's make another one over here. Let's go like this. So again, make rounded leaves and a little stem over here. We are going to add some flowers here later. Another one here. And here. Then for those flowers, let's grab the round chalk brush again. And then for the color, let's first grab this one, second color in the third row. And let's make a big circle over here for a big flower and a smaller one here. And one slightly bigger over here. Then for this area, let's grab another color. Let's grab this one. And then let's add some small flowers here. Let's add another one here. We just need a little stem there. So let's grab that green again. This one, ninth color in the first row. Then the fine liner brush. And then add a little stem. Then let's switch to this color again. Second color in the third row. And let's add a little core here and here as well. And for this one, I would like to use this color, fifth color in the first row. And let's just add some random little specks. And here as well. And now let's move to the other side. Let's still use the fine liner brush, but let's grab this color again, sixth color in the first row. And let's make another big stem here. Let's make it a little bit thick. And let's give it these long leaves. And of course you can color them in by hand, but you can also just drag in the color, adjust the color drop threshold if needed by sliding to the right, and then use continue filling to fill these areas as well. Now let me grab the round chalk brush again. And for the color, let's grab this one again. That's the fourth color in the second row. And let's add a flower over here as well. First, we need to turn off color drop by hitting this check mark. And then let's make a bit of a random shape like this, some petals. Then let's switch to the second color in the third row and make a smaller shape like that on top. And then finally, we'll grab the fine liner brush again 
where is it over here and we'll use this color again sixth color in the second row for a few little dabs then let's add some more let's grab this color over here the eighth color in the first row and we'll still use the fineliner brush and this time we'll make a curved plant like this with some bigger leaves like this move downward just like this and then just drag in the color and use continue filling and tap in the areas to fill everything now let's move forward let's go to the layer menu and tap the plus for a new layer and now we are going to make some bigger leaves we are going to use the round chalk brush again and for the colors let's first grab this one over here the last color in the second row and let's make a big leaf over here a little bit rounded color it in And let's do the same thing over here but let's grab a different color let's grab this one again the sixth color in the first row and let's make big leaves over here color them in another one over here it's okay if it's going over the other plant And then another leaf over here. Color it in. And let's make some leaves with this color over here as well. Color this in and one over here. And then let's switch to a lighter color. Let's grab this one. That's the eighth color in the first row. And let's make some lighter leaves. And over here as well. And on this side, I want to use this color. That's the seventh color in the first row. It's a bit more bluish. color it in and one over here moving towards the outside like this now let's move on let's make another layer on top of this one let's tap the plus then for the color let's grab this one again tenth color in the second row and let's make some rounded leaves over here color them in and over here we're nicely filling this background now let's make a big leaf over here let's grab this color the last color in the first row and let's make a big leaf like this rounded all the way like this and to color it in you can make the brush a bit bigger maybe 30 percent and let's just color it like this and now let's make a big leaf over here as well rounded shape Covering the other parts, let's make the brush a little bit smaller again, 10%. There. Now before we continue to the foreground plants, let's add some texture to these. Let's first go to the ones on the back. Let's set this layer to alpha lock so we won't be able to go outside of the shapes. And then let's go and grab the dark noise brush. Now for the color, let's grab this one ninth color in the first row now the opacity of the brush is at 100 percent and the size is at 20 percent and let's go over 
the ends of these leaves here. Just to add a little bit of texture and color variation. Then let's move on to the layer in front. Let's set that to elf lock as well. And then for the color, let's switch to this one, the eight color in the first row. And let's go over the ends here. Those dark leaves. Let's add a little bit of that. Then let's switch to this color, fourth color in the second row, a little pinkish color and add a bit to this leaf and to these just a little bit and to these as well. Now let's move on to the layer in front. Let's set that to alpha lock and then let's add that pinkish color to these leaves as well. And then let's grab a darker color. This one over here, sixth color in the first row and use that on these leaves over here as well with rounded motions and we can also use some of this color 10th color in the second row let's also use that at the base here and over here as well now we'll move all the way to the foreground, so we'll move in front of our character. Let's go all the way to the top, then tap the plus. And then for our brush, we'll go back to the round chalk brush. And for the color, we'll grab this one, 10th color in the first row. And first, let's make a plant over here with these rounded leaves, just like this. And then one over here with some thinner leaves, something like this. And then let's switch to this color. That's the seventh color in the first row. Let's make the brush a little bit smaller, 6%. And let's create something like grass, which is covering the boots a little bit. Then we'll switch to the fine liner brush over here and we'll grab that lighter color again, that 10th color in the first row. And we'll make these lines so we can add two little flowers. Let's grab the round chalk brush again. And for the color, we'll grab this one again. That's the fourth color in the second row. Now let's add a little flower here and here and now we can grab the fine liner brush again and we'll grab that darker color that what is it the fifth color in the second row now let's add some little dabs then let's add some texture on this layer as well let's set it to alpha lock then we need to go back to that dark noise brush and let's grab this one, ninth color in the first row. Let's add that to the bottom a little bit over here as well. And then let's switch to this blue. That's the seventh color in the second row. And let's go over this top area just a little bit. Next, let's grab the fine liner brush again. And we'll also grab this color, ninth color in the first row. And let's add some lines here. Let's make the brush a little bit bigger, maybe 10%. Let's check it out. Yeah, that's nice. Just some interest to these leaves over here as well. And a little bit over here. Then we'll do the same for some of the leaves in the background. Let's go to this layer first let me turn off alpha lock because i see that we have a little floating one over here let's grab this color and give this a little stem here then for the color let's grab this one over here sixth color in the third row and then let's add some leafy veins 
over here as well. for these ones just a little bit now let's move on to this layer let's add some veins here as well and on this one And on this one. And finally, what we need is a little bit of an extra touch to the underground. First, let's go to that layer, layer two. Let's set it to alpha lock. And then for our brush, let's grab the round chalk brush. And then for the color, we will grab this one over here, fourth color in the first row. And let's make the brush a bit bigger, perhaps 30%. And let's go over these areas, adding some shadow, especially here around our character and around this leaf here. Give it a nice texture. And then for an extra touch, let's also grab this color, fifth color in the first row. Let's make the brush smaller, 4%, and add some extra dots here in those shadow areas. And then let's also add some lighter dots by grabbing this color, fourth color in the third row. And let's add some light touches as well, just for a little bit of extra interest here in our underground. And that's it. You have created a lovely storybook style character. Don't forget to share it and continue your streak. Go ahead and watch this video in which you will learn how to create a storybook style house. And with every tutorial, your confidence and skills in Procreate will grow. I would like to thank you for watching and I will see you next time for the next video.